you know, I actually was hanging out with, with our neighbor, Cheryl, this afternoon. And um, I entertained the idea of bringing in pigs to clear the back. Just do like two pigs. But we could make the property bigger. We could add pasture to the back if we cleared it. And the easiest way to clear it is to introduce pigs. Unless they come in with lumberjack gear and a chainsaw, they're not going to clear a lot of that back. Dude, they're known engineers and builders. Straw, hay, brick, whatever you want. They've got it. They can build our, our addition. They're going to charge us a lot for materials. We'll just eat them before we have to pay. It's brilliant. I'll make some calls. Hey you, welcome home to Mailer's Landing. We are here in Growing Zone 6B in New England. My name is Sue and I am overwhelmed. Come on along. So here's the winter sewing. I did this in a peak of frenzy. I feel like I saw sprouts in here the other day. Here. Purple Brussels sprouts are coming up. Oh, and calendula. There is, I did see calendula sprouts. There's some very tiny poppy sprouts in there. And woad, I have some woad coming in. So sure, I'm worried about the winter sowing. Did I do it right? I feel I'm just putting my faith out there. <laughs> just putting my faith out there. I just keep repeating the mantra. The seeds will know when it's time. The seeds will know when it's time. They know what they're doing. They're seeds, right? So, and as my husband said, you know, what's the worst that happens? We direct so everything. We get a few less tomatoes this year. I mean, <sighs> okay. Okay. So I can, I can push that off my list. Next up on my big list of overwhelm, mama to be over here. This girl is due in like five or six weeks. I have to pinpoint it. Um, Nigerian dwarf goats run about 155 days, which would place her before the middle of May. So I'm feeling good about it. She's getting a little wider. Um, occasionally will high center herself on the walls of this manger, which I think is hilarious. Um, how are you doing about this, auntie to be? What do you think? You know, Piper's over here eating my coat. <laughs> this is not to say that I am anything like not excited. I am super excited. Hey girls. One of the big projects coming down the pike is we're going to need some place that's comfortable for Drummer to give birth. Um, so we're going to be building a stall over here for her. The next gardening thing that overwhelms me is the overwintered stuff. In the case of the garlic, the worries include, have I buried them too deep? Did I put too much stuff on it? Are they rotting underground? For the strawberries, likewise similar. All right, so let's see what's going on. There's some holes in here. Uh-oh. I hope that doesn't mean there are animals' nests being disturbed. Oh, there's a lot of... <sighs> Y'all, you see that? It's some green. Got some more green in there. Let's cover this back up. That's pretty encouraging, seeing that green in the strawberries. I'm a little concerned about the hole. I'm wondering if there's a nest of something living in there, and I really hope not. Once we've stopped seeing freezing temperatures overnight, then I will take the top off of the strawberries and rake back a little bit of the mulch that is on top of the garlic that we sowed in November. The next item on our list of overwhelm is, oh shoot, what did I put there? Every place that you see sticks, I planted something that might come back. And I don't remember what it was, and I didn't label it. Among other reasons that I might be overwhelmed, both of these plum trees need a trim. And unfortunately, I know nothing about how to do that. So I need to do that 
which also means I need to do some research. Now let me show you my top number one item of dismay and overwhelm. Come see this tree. I really do love this tree. Um, it is, as trees do, getting rid of some stuff and depositing it upon my lawn. You all, my, my lawn is, is a big mess and I need to get out there and clean that up. When we moved into this house, I set aside a sizable amount of money to fix that tree. And then COVID hit and I couldn't get anybody to come out and fix that tree. Somebody said, oh, it's planted on the berm. It's the city's tree, it's not yours. Bill called the town. And indeed, that is the fact. But they have nothing in the budget for preventative maintenance. They only have in the budget money for emergency maintenance were those limbs to come down and knock down a line um, they would have to come out with emergency stuff and fix it I really feel like I'm not doing justice to how big of a pile of tree branches this is overwhelming also overwhelming we use the greenhouse for storage But that's okay, I won't be really planting in here until May anyway. Not overwhelming, but exciting. It looks like it's just about time. Let's see if this ground is what we would call workable. And I would say that's workable to about three inches. So, hey. Last year, when we did the peas, um, it was still a little weird and frosty outside. I put down a row of compost um, at the trellis, and we just planted the peas directly into the compost, and that worked out pretty good. So, we may do that this year, too. This will be our first year of chop and drop. Oh, hello. Coming up like a champ. Hello, are you hyssop? I believe that's hyssop. Um, but it could be a couple of other things too. We'll have to give it a couple of weeks and see. See that green, this green over here? This is chamomile, I believe, that reseeded. And now we're back on the overwhelmed list. Um, it cleared out the majority of the tobacco plant pots into this planter and then there's that planter, which is in rough shape. And then there are these planters, which got moved when it got cold, and now they look raggedy. Um, but the plan is actually kind of cool. We are going to do some more of these silver buckets, some more of these silver buckets as our raised beds. And then I'm hoping to put some cattle panel arches over it and make some bowers big old encouraging wonderful thing look at this lilac bush she is ready to just burst up when it gets a little bit warmer we saw some really early irises but they are done now um, and maybe we'll have more of them come back I'm not really sure how miniature irises operate you all look 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 hellebore I need to Pull out some of the dead stuff, but the hellebore is springing back. Look at her. Our geranium came back. Hey, buddies. Happy birthday, tulips. Oh, hey. Garlic chives are ready for another round. They're back. I already have beautiful bronze fennel returning in this herb patch here. I'll drag a rake through. That oh, smells so good. And it smells like licorice. Little mint is coming back. There we go. Look at you. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but this. This will soon be just a beautiful patch of semi-shady area full of herbs and medicinals. 
also firmly in the yay pile. The cat mint is coming back. I don't remember what this is, but I believe it's got little orange flowers, like tiny daisies. Here's some more of it over here. I had like, I think three plants and I put them all in at the same time. It's nice to see they made it. But yeah, there's a, a raking project to be done here. Some more of that. So overwhelmed. Fix it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So <laughs> make it go away. You were the one who took the balloon to work and fixed it. This isn't a balloon. Fixed this is it. nature. There's so much. It's all over me. No, it's all over. It's all over. It's, it's, there's so much. This it's is so every much. year. Every year, okay. about two weeks before everything starts to pop out, we go out in the yard and we take a look and we go, oh my God, it looks like crap. It's so ah, bad. It's so horrible. We're horrible people. We're we are those not. neighbors. We're those neighbors. And then in a couple of weeks, everything looks awesome. Okay. I, can you move the tractor for me soon? Uh, this weekend. Okay. I will I will pull the, the dead tree out of the front yard this weekend. <laughs> hey, do we still... You said that we've got the chipper, but it doesn't work right now? I gotta fix it. Okay, but we'll be able to chip those in the end, right? Yes. Okay, good enough, good enough. Um, and... Would you like to come out and prune some trees with me this weekend as well? I, we can put those branches in the basket too. I would be so excited. I love that about you. So this weekend, it's all tree branches all the time. Um, Couple weeks, it won't be a disaster anymore. I'm those neighbors. I don't like being those uh, neighbors. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and my anxiety today. Great. We'll catch you up soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't eat your contractors. And other rules for better living. <laughs>